God damn it. Ah, hello. Ah, hello! Hi! Ah. Are we okay? Where is everybody? What's I know, happened? where is it? It's only just me. It's, it's, it only seems to be me and Lee. Oh no, everybody pulled out, or maybe it was because I told everyone not to come on. Who knows? Not Wait me. a minute! Wait a minute! Is this a trick? Is this oh a trick? God. This could be a trick. We have no idea. Who, who, who knows? Not me. Not me. <laughs> yes, but hi. Everybody, welcome to 2023. Up to the Sanity Check Gaming for the world of Felorium. Lucky for some, episode 13. I thought of a good name for this because, yes, I purposely tricked Lee to come on all by his lonesome. Because he's going on a dungeon crawl, if we remember from anyone, if anyone actually remembers or watches or cares for the matter. He was poisoned, he was killed. By a mysterious poison yeah. called Defop Dude. Which happens to be a four death, uh, translated into an ancient la from an ancient language. And the thing being, yeah, he's technically still alive, although he's perceived as dead. This will be a dungeon crawl to see how we go, how far he comes back, and what faculties he may gain or lose. Lee knows nothing, <laughs> nothing about what's coming. That is largely true about most things. And to be fair with you, this will be interesting because ha, we might actually learn about a little bit more about Ralph's history. Oh shit. Oh shit indeed. Oh no, <laughs> they're going to discover that I literally make up everything I say and don't write any of it down. Ah! Amazing because from here as well, we, were about to, we are about to find out everything about what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll read my notes. Yes. Oh shit, he's I going, have none, never mind. He's going to try and read his notes. <laughs> so, without further ado, I love further ado though. So. Mm. So, will he live or will he die? Lee, my friend, what do you remember? Oh, uh, we're on your web, we're on your desktop. Uh, okay, what do I remember? Um, well, um, some time ago we were on uh, an island. Uh, we met my brother. Um, then we split up because I didn't trust him. I thought perhaps he was under the influence of some kind of outside force, or he'd been corrupted in some fashion, so he left the party. Um, we <coughs> went. We purchased a boat. Purchased being a loose word. We, yeah, we threatened an elderly man, but it turned out he was he was a bad person. Uh, it turned sure. out he was a changeling. Then it turned mm. out there was a colony of changelings. Mm. Uh, I thought I was rescuing Gaz at one point. It turned out it was not Gaz. I got stabby stabbed, and I thought I was dead. So then they spent the rest of the episode looking for Gaz. I think that was the following week actually, uh, and I kind of like wandered around and went and done all the things um, off camera. So. Is then it? you came back and I woke in a spirit realm um, where the ghostly apparition of my brother was there. And I was like, no, no, get them in here. And then Sarah Milliken turned up. Um, Sarah Milliken. Pretty close, I guess. Oh, Sarah Milliken. Get ready she for this. Up. Get ready for I, this. I, we're I all. Yes, we're just um, doing. We're just doing Sarah bad Sarah Milliken impressions because Rachel can't be here. Well, she can, yeah. but we're not having her here because it's all, this is our all-Lee episode. The one thing that Lee has always wanted since the beginning of this channel is an all-Lee episode. I mean, I would literally have me DM myself, right? And I play all characters. I would do that. With no combat whatsoever. Just, no combat at any point, just me doing different voices. Not even different voices, pretty much the same voice all the time. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah I, I believe this. Uh, for sure. So... Indeed, this is what happened, and then you woke up to the the real startling realization that yeah, Nim is now in front of you, leading you down this weird, magical, mystical place. Yes, I believe there's some mountains involved. I think I was heading towards a lake in a mountain. Yes, so I got very excited, just tripped up in all the information I could remember. <coughs> so, ah! ah, yeah, exactly. So, from where we left off, as you start to traverse the desert, the purple sands and deserts of your, let's say, mind. Which is probably horribly, horribly corrupted by the poison that's currently coursing through your veins and stopping and lowering every life sign within you. So much so that uh, you could almost say it is a magical effect. One however, might say. However. I should just, I've not even opened D&D Beyond. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how long it's been since we played yes. this game. Like, oh, fuck, I better get to uh, that. Yes, uh, good, uh, good, to be fair. Uh, yeah, so step inside. Walk this way as you turn around and you think to yourself... Hmm, I'm awake. And you're currently walking. 
and you're currently walking behind uh, the spiritual apparition of Nim or the, your mental apparition of Nim for what seems to be either your subconscious you or in fact you don't know what this is this is something that mm. is uh, this could be you, this could be your conscious this could be what you would call your soul, this could be anything but it's currently leading mm. you down through this uh, the, these purple sands of glass almost obsidian trees of kind of gnarled branches but as you start to get forward uh, a little bit closer to wherever you're heading to which seems to be some of the mountains everything starts to come into proper colours uh, as in a more normalised colour of uh, greens, yellows, blues even mm. you just start to walk along as you are currently walking in silence it's a couple of minutes before you get to the mountains is there anything you want to be saying or you want to be asking? Um, no, I, I'll, as I kind of go by, like the foliage and that, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of reach out to touch ones, especially the ones that are like the darkened colours. Can are they tangible? Can I actually touch them in any way, or does my hand go through them? Or well, as you put your hand out towards them, the kind of the gnarled branch kind of go and just kind of pulls away slightly from, obviously trying to stop you from touching it. This is a, okay. Oh. This is a strange place. Uh, Nim, may I ask, uh, is this a representation of my own mind or am I in some kind of spirit spirit realm? Am I in the afterlife? Or... As Nim kind of stops and just kind of turns to you and goes, <laughs> well, what do you think? Uh, I don't know. This is... I feel like if it's, if it's a real spirit realm, then I'll be able to touch things because there'll be everything will be spirit. So I believe I'll be able to interact. Well, so what... I think I'm perhaps collapsing into my own mind. Well, if you're collapsing into your own mind, then what do you think you're seeing? Uh, I'm not really sure. I mean, that's, that's why I asked the question. I think this is like a representation of perhaps my life going on. I'm trying to, maybe my body's trying to shirk the poison or something. I'm, that's why I'm going to head towards something to maybe steal my resolve. Could be. As she turns around uh, and starts walking forward again. Hey, well, Nim, turn into Vannin. <laughs> uh, you sure you want me to turn into Vannin? Nah, know. not really. He yeah. sucked. Let's go. <laughs> Okay. I'm a joke of <laughs> so, uh, the further and closer you start to walk towards the the your destination, where it would seem to be or appear, mm. um, make me a perception check straight off the bat. Also, we should probably say that you will be at full health and you'll have full spell slots at this point. Nice. Sure. Yeah, I have a little perception check, which is really low, which is a nah. Mm. So, uh, it's not a high. Can yeah. I do the advantage because I wanna? Because it's my own mind. In fact, you know what? Do it, yeah, do it with your advantage. That's fine. I can okay. give you advantage on that. Amazing. Even mm. Thirties. That's pretty poor as well. But no, it's, no, it's better. Than, <coughs> it's, quite, it's quite middle of the road. So, uh, as you're walking along, uh, and colours start to normalise, so to speak, guys, again, because your sand is purple uh, currently, but it's now starting to turn into a kind of grainy yellow. Uh, almost a white yellow at places now as you start to see spots and bits and... Almost, uh, it kind of almost reminds you of home on the the Sapphire Isles, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's a more kind of tropical climate uh, down by the bayou. Um, down by the bayou. So, because <laughs> so, the accent kind of veers wildly well between <laughs> several I remember from films. But yeah. Anyway, um, but yeah, it was so. Do I what's we're heading towards? Do I see is there like a light or something, or is there like a anything or yeah, um, as kind of like a mountain? Uh, mm. you should, in fact, as the closer and closer you get to it, as you start to walk towards, you start to notice it kind of does look familiar. In fact, Wait, it's almost it it's almost like the single solitary mountain that is on your island that you come from. In fact, it's almost, in fact, you probably say you're heading home. Yeah, this makes this makes more sense. Uh, this would be the man. Well, this would be the manner that we mine. Uh, mm. So where the precious jewels of the island come from? Okay, I'm gonna keep heading towards the island. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
I do I see any other signs of kind of movement of life at all? Is there any like strange spectres flying above my head? Well, uh, well, at thirteen, for looking specifically for anything you recognise other than the island, no, you can't. But however, you do see kind of weird, strange apparitions above in the in the sky, which is a, almost like a turns from green to grey to red to yellows to oranges. It's it's kind of it's like almost like a kaleidoscope of colours. Hmm. I want to look at my own hand. Is that a is it see through? Is it like it does it look completely like normal? Yeah, you are exactly like you. This is gonna be interesting. It's a shame I can't share this with anybody who's real. Well, let's continue. I suppose it just I suppose it just uh, it really matters exactly how much you remember. If that's the case, yeah. it really depends on that. How much? Well, I think it's really hard. Can yeah. I make more of the group here? Uh, how hard are you trying? I'm going to try super hard, and I'm going to try and make uh, so Janice the Grandy, the greatest part of the world, appear. Um, I'm going to try and make Daphne appear, and I'm going to try and make uh, Melgrim, but specifically Melgrim with a penis appear. <laughs> so I assume he'll be happier if he has that. Give us a so, give us a wisdom check. It's wisdom save. <laughs> I'm gonna. Can I, can I do Gansel myself? Does that work for wisdom saves? I, uh, I don't think for saving throws. I think I might actually count for saving throws. That's still a 15. Yeah. I'm not gonna bother with the guy. So as you, yeah. you think really hard, uh, you go. Uh, you start to see apparitions come down towards you and then just kind of pass through you for a minute. And then them just kind of stops and goes, ah, 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 no, 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 no. You do, you're not skipping to the end just yet. That's not how this works. Well, oh, interesting. However, okay, you do take that's... five points of psychic damage. Oh, shit, I really <laughs> saw. Oh, my God. Okay, what do I get? get yeah. Why would you do that to me? Oh, I didn't. Um... I didn't do that. They did. All right, okay. I guess I... I was hoping this is going to be one of those circumstances where you call upon the help of your friends, and your friends come and help you get to the end, but I guess that's only in the storybooks. Who knows? Not me. As she starts walking on, so as you start getting closer to the, uh, to the to your destination, your final destination, shall we say, or is it? <laughs> yeah, you, you happen to come across the familiar beach, a familiar coastline. As it starts to, as the ground starts to turn into the Iron Oak Ocean that you know quite well, um, you're able to walk across fine as if you know you're a ghostly apparition. It doesn't uh, that it really doesn't matter. In fact, this could all be just memory in your head. As you start mm. to walk along, and you come to the the sapphire pools, uh, the birthing spawns, uh, the spawning areas of your people, which is yes. quite interesting. From there, you see a lot of young turtles running around uh, in all manners of uh, play and wonderment and all this. All very young people, and then you have to re you see one you recognise in particular as he starts to run up towards you. Is it myself when I was a child? No, actually, uh, it looks very much like your young, uh, your older brother. I forgot how cute he was when he was small. I'm kind of going to hunch down a little bit and say, uh, "Hey there." Strangely enough, as he runs up to you, he seems to be the same size as you. Now that's weird. Okay, I guess I stand back up there because otherwise I'd be kneeling down talking to his chest. Yeah, yeah. I... Hey, hey, brother, how are you? Why ain't you hiding? I told you to hide. Let's go hide. We're playing. I can't do a younger voice of actually Mikel, so we're just going to have to keep with that. <laughs> <laughs> he is sounding like that since he was four yeah, years yeah, old. Yeah, heavy smoker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think how we all would do that as a little bit. Hey! Nope, that doesn't work. Oh, that's, uh, that's so... we can't know. That's Sarah Milliken again. <laughs> Everybody's Sarah Milliken. That's just that. That's the yeah. accent all the way through. So, uh, hi. I don't think I got time to hide. I'm I'm in a rush, brother. I think I need to I need to keep moving. Come on now, you've never been this serious. Come on, you gotta let's go play. Come on, and he starts to he goes over to one of the one of the uh, the boulders just next to the pool and he starts to count and go one, two, and everyone else, uh, some of your friends that you recognise, start to scatter and just hide everywhere. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over to the uh, the pond, the bottom pose, mm -hmm. and I'm going to break off one of the reeds to sit beside, but which sits within the ponds, mm -hmm. which I used to, can use to breathe through. And then going to lie down in the pond and put the uh, the reed up through the water. This that... was a trick I learned. So uh, and excellent, 
anyone watching this uh, right now live, uh, yeah, the yes, Lee is actually indeed glitching in camera, and it looks so funny. Because... <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> I can't see glitching at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. this working to me? Uh, look on Twitch, motherfucker. Oh, wow. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I don't know. That's funny. He has plenty of practice doing that, though. Uh, oh, I just got a lot worse. <laughs> Would you like to sign in and out of your camera? <laughs> I, I will look out and see if it does anything. Oh, 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 oh. oh, wow. That, that almost hurt me. We're okay now, yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, so, you're breaking off Reed and you're going to hide in the pool. That's actually quite smart. Uh, to be fair, I also just remembered, by the way, they can breathe for up to an hour underwater, so they need to do the This is true, it's yeah. Like, a minute. So, but I, I do, because I'm a young child, we can't hold their breath as long. Yeah, okay. Nah. <coughs> that is very good. So, uh, yeah, so he gets to round about 20. And then he counts again. One, two, it's, uh, you know, it's, you know, you're young. You're, you don't know any the numbers after that. <laughs> uh, you don't notice everyone is speaking an Aquian, obviously, because you're being your native language. I uh, assumed that I yeah. was speaking an Aquian. So you'll, you'll yeah. understand it from that. However. I uh, thought so just for the viewers at home, we're doing English. So, uh, oh, man, sorry. so <laughs> as soon as he gets to 20 again, it's here I come, ready or not. And he, uh, if you make me a stealth check, please. Okay. I'll of course get a guidance on myself because that's a proper use of my power. Um, uh, funnily enough, guidance doesn't come up. Okay, 20. <laughs> that's fine, that's very good. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, my plus 7, I get like a 14. My plus 1, I get a 20. Alright, man. For sure. You'll never find Right. Uh, oh, 20 plus. Ha 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 ha! Oh, well, you got probably... 21. <laughs> no, I got 22, mate. <laughs> you got that 20. Ah, you suck. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, I should have just, just kept that there, to be fair, because uh, some of these rolls are not going to really... are not too important. However, so... Uh, yeah, you, you, you feel confident that you're in the you're in the, the shallows of the, of the pool. Uh, you're hiding, going, yeah. Are you hiding in your cell or anything, or...? No, no, not at all. This is a children's game. I'm yeah. not that bored. So you go down underwater, and it's a case of uh, as you start to look about, and you feel, yeah, I'm confident. Now, to you, you're very well hidden. This is a fantastic hiding place. No way he's going to find you. However, not realising that the pools are quite shallow, that your shell is sticking out, out from the actual water that's sitting within itself, as he starts to look down and go, huh, and he goes up and, boom, it just hits the back of your shell as you, whoa, and you ah. pop yourself back up. I got you, brother. You found me. I should have used a different place. I always use the same place. Yeah, you exactly. Must you always go there. Why would you? Why would you not do anything different? Uh, you would uh, never... Maybe I wanted you to find me. Maybe I just wanted to. I want to give you a chance this time. Yeah. Maybe I feel bad about how we part of ways. Yeah, you were never. Uh, you were never the best at hiding anyway. Come on now, it's your turn. You can help me find the others. So, as you start okay. to walk away, then it's then everything just kind of just goes into a smoke uh, and disappears, it says. So, mostly happy memories with your brother then? Yeah, he was a good brother. My whole family, my whole extended family were wonderful. We don't have much of a relationship with our parents because of the nature of the total physiology. Hmm. But uh, we are like an extended. We were the closest of my brothers. But... In a way, we're all brothers and sisters. But yeah, he was good. Uh, perhaps I should have gave, treated him better. Do you feel that was, uh, you feel you may be done wrong? I think desperate times call for de desperate measures, and perhaps I should, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I should have kept him around a little longer. Maybe I should have questioned him better. Maybe I should have just accepted my brother wouldn't betray the pe uh, betray our people, but you can't fix what you've done. Well, you can regret it. Well, I suppose, but uh, at the same time, uh, it's understandable the fact that you're as trusting of everybody. I mean, the community <laughs> you the community you brought up in, you had everybody, all your brothers and sisters. Is that why you hang about with your your fellow colleagues? Yeah, it got real lonely on the on the travels. I think that's why 
I made friends with Nim and Manon so quickly. I, I miss having people around. They seem like good folk. Uh, God knows I need it. The sort of goddess be praised I need it, though. And look how that ended. I lost two people. Kind of looks that in for a moment. <clears throat> two people are real important to me. But I got new people around me, and hopefully if I can come back, I can keep them safe as well. Somebody's got to keep them safe because they try real hard to kill themselves, so. But you didn't take, keep them safe, did you? I mean, you lost Nim. You lost Vannon. I went after Nim. I dove straight into that. Mm. I was to save her. Well, I gave everything I had to try and get her back, but I wasn't strong enough. Man, he was brave. He came in after us, but he uh, disappeared. That's a dangerous place. But, uh, well, between you and me, apparition of Nim, if I get strong enough, I can bring them back. It's going to take a long time. And plus, I need to get back to the land and live first. Hmm. And hey, if I don't, then I get to meet them in the afterlife, probably. I'm not really sure how it works for half orcs and... Uh, in my memory, Vannon was a, an elf? A half-elf? Half-elf? <laughs> I can't remember. It's a long time ago. <laughs> and whatever, the appropriate... All the humanoids look alike. The green ones are easy to tell apart. They're half orcs. Vannon was a dwarf. Was, was, yes. was Vannon a dwarf? Vannon was a dwarf. Alright. So Jim plays so many times. <laughs> um, I can't remember. So no, yeah, more... I mean a dwarf, yeah, he's a little bit of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting the fact that you picked Nim over Vannon uh, for your apparition. In fact it was more inter- even more interesting the fact you didn't stick with your brother. Feel guilty? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Um Nim Why? died in my arms and that hurt me. Uh Vannon, I didn't see that and to my great shame. I didn't even notice he was gone until it was pointed out to me by Melville. Uh, I still feel real bad about that. I did try to contact him not so long ago. I was kind of holding out hope that maybe he he was tough. He fought his way through it, but mm. it happened. It's a real shame. He was good people. And yet you let your brother go as well. That's uh, I've got to say, that's quite a, an, inc- an impressive feat considering amount of folk you're losing mm. yeah you're right uh, I don't know I got a bad feeling and I decided to go with my gut he was it seemed a bit convenient and also if he's not with me there's not much chance I can kill him or get him killed for someone who considers uh, having a lot of brothers and sisters and being trusting you you seem to you seem to be wavering on the solitary side as well when you think about it you know, occasional. I mean, I was alone for a while, and I don't know. It's it's tough to tough to explain. Sometimes you think I can do this by myself. Then the more sensible part of your brain kicks in. You say, "I need a team behind me. I build a team." Well, I've not built a team. I've looked. I've happenstance on a team who are strong. Apart from Melville, he's stupid. And yet, strangely uh, enough, would... and yet, strangely enough, Melgram is probably your oldest friend when you think about it. He is. I look out for him too. And I know in his own insane way, he actually cares about us. Hmm. I just think he's gone through something and it's hurt him. Well, we're all but... going through something, aren't we? I mean, well, yeah, right you. now my mind's collapsing in on itself, but. Yeah, so it's, uh, do you feel guilt for anything else? Uh, death of Van and death of Nam. Uh, everyone else is pretty much okay. I feel better with not going well. Ralph thinks back. It's like, yeah, actually, we lost some other people now. I think about it. That guy that we met that got transported to us, he died somehow. Uh, I'm not even sure how he died, to be honest. I only recently noticed he was gone. Uh, those two people we took to the island, those uh, the priests that were going to go to the uh, the, the Freitas Lux uh, holiday camp, they did. Mm-hmm. I was kind of our fault. Holy shit. I'm just thinking back to the amount of people that got killed kind of through my actions or inactions, and I mean, this is pretty long. And what worst thing is, I can't even remember the names. Oh shit, the captain, Captain Kimmy, he did. <laughs> and the second, <laughs> holy shit. 
That's a lot. Yeah, of, I, that's a I need lot to of save a lot of these kids. There. That's a lot of blood on your hands as well when you think about it. And you've what kids exactly? I mean, you saved those kids. Ah, shit, there was that giant kid that died when he got uh, the laugh train down of him. All oh, right, them kids, yeah. Fuck. So, so there's Jeez. nothing else important to go back to then? Of course, I need to go back and rescue those eggs. I mean, those people, those kids are on bond, they're innocent. Hmm. I go back, I save them, and then if someone wants to take retribution or my guy wants to forsake me and I lose everything, I could go and live a solitary life and just maybe pray for forgiveness. But she's not taking my power, so she ain't forsaken me yet. So she must want me to do something. Do you remember much about that day when you real when you found out that the eggs were taken? Oh, well, thanks back. Um, it was chaos. It was an attack by the uh, goblins of the island. We figured out later that they'd been implored or coerced or intimidated into doing this because normally they attack, they steal some food, we drive them off. But this is more. Um, more concentrated, more uh, more focused, more direct. They knew exactly what they were going for. Normally, they know to stay away from the eggs because if, well, we would... Oh, he's crushed. We would not be... It would be extreme vengeance. Hmm. But yeah, it was, it was a confusing day. It was just I was, I was there, the alarm sounded, I grabbed a weapon, I ran out. That was before I came into the power that I have now. Did you do much fighting and defending? Yeah, I done some. I mean, uh, there was, we all take turns doing guard duty. We all take turns learning how to use a weapon. So, I mean, we could, I could fight. Uh, me, my brother, some others, my brothers and others, <coughs> we, just, uh, we just charged it where the noise was coming from. The alarm went up. We, uh, I mean, I just tried to defend the area, but it was chaos. There was lots and lots of them. As you start talking and talking to them through this, you start to hear a familiar alarm, an alarm call of an attack. Oh, God damn it! As you turn around and you see the exact scene that you were just picturing, uh, as goblins and turtles are fighting, trying to get in uh, from one of the huts that you are, uh, the guard huts where you are in. You can see outside the window. There's fire. There's smokers coming. Um, loud thunderous explosions just you know it, it comes to you remember now says this is this couldn't be goblins couldn't possibly goblins the goblins are they've got what, what is this weaponry as you start to run out and mm. you realize you see more turtles coming out i've lost you yep yeah, yeah, yeah i've lost you as well because you've kind of broken can you hear much of that right. uh i didn't hear anything until you came back and said you lost me yeah that's fine. That's okay. Uh, I like to say, um, yeah, the the loud explo- uh, thunderous explosions from outside as well. It's, it's, it's this is different to to anything uh, yeah. that you've experienced with the goblins before. So as you start to turn round, you see all the turtles, uh, familiar guards. You remember just rushing out of the door. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll pull my weapon from yeah. the turtles, and I'll, I'll start kind of moving towards the area where I know the uh, the turtles, the main. There's different hatcheries, but there's like larger and smaller <coughs> ones. I head towards the largest one that's closest to me, uh, and I just kind of go towards. I try to make think back to where I went at the time, mm-hmm. um, but that's where when the instinct would kind of take me. So where um, did you go? Uh, towards the largest kind of hatchery. So just a, uh, it's a building that'll be in the water, and it'll be kind of like there'll be fortifications around about it. But again, it wasn't like a. It wasn't like a castle or anything to left there. It was just kind of fortified area. Yeah. So just things to stop people getting into, yeah? So, as you start to run out, yeah, uh, it starts to become... Oh, it's quite a strange. Make a perception check for me. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Yeah. 13. I need to get proficient in perception if I don't die. With that, uh, again, the smells, the sounds come straight back to you. Some of the sounds don't uh, marry up or match. You can't remember some things. However, um, at this point, it's it's quite strange. As you see the goblins just come out from behind this this grey kind of uh, mist, this fog, so to speak. As they're just, yeah, they're just jumping out and fighting some of the turtles there. And then all of a sudden you hear a... Pss, 
this here, this large whistle, and all of a sudden you see this explosion. Don't know where from or how, but it's in front of you as you're knocked back onto the bat onto your shell <clears throat> as you try and write yourself back up. Uh, yeah. you, you come back up, you see some of the bodies just as they're slain, just just evaporate into fog. Yeah, it's quite strange. It's uh, it's almost reminiscent of a of a memory that it was so quick. You're picking mm. up bits and pieces of what you remember. Yeah, this is. But you cannot, for some reason, see past this fog that's in front of you that leads towards the main pools. Um, can I move towards it? Can, does it clear as I move towards it, or is it like something stopping me moving that direction? Well, as you start to move forward, the fog starts to to drift back as uh, maybe about mm. 10, 12 feet in front of you. As you, but it's mm. very, very... Um, make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Uh, <clears throat> nine, holy shit, that's um, really low. You remember there was no fog, it was a... It was, it was almost a clear day with, with, apart from all the smokes from all the fires and the kind of explosions that were coming again you can't put your yeah, finger a, on it or why it, it was a day great right, but I'm yeah. assuming this is my memory of the, the situation I didn't know everything that happened so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and go where I remember going where I tried where I yeah. thought the kind of action was uh, the loudest part of the fight was anything I've seen is where I'm gonna try and head to with that, uh, with that thought you start to you feel rage and anger just build up inside mm -hmm. you just right you remember you're remembering the rage you remember the, the fill but you can't you just cannot pick out very finer details in fact not so much finer details uh regular details in general it's just almost you've got like you've got tunnel vision you can only think right i need to get here and you just start to wrap then all of a sudden a goblin just kind of jumps out in front of you with a spear and yeah yeah uh roll uh roll hat uh cool uh i do have a weapon so let's see what i've got um uh actions <laughs> oh it's a mace I think. <coughs> it's okay cool um not very good with maces 15 uh, yeah yeah uh three damage yeah as you just you just knock him to the side and uh his head just splatters and blood just he goes down good. uh what do you do do you finish him off or do you go on no, that's not what's important. What's important is uh, protecting the, the eggs. Um, you know, these can be picked off, but if they can't get to what they're getting to, they'll get beaten back eventually. So just <laughs> just running towards uh, the hatcheries themselves, the important parts. Yeah. And um, just calling for help. Just brothers to me. Yeah. As you we start, need to protect the eggs. As you start to run towards, to, uh, again, the, the fog just 12 foot in front of you, just boom, 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 move. Then all of a mm. sudden, it stops. Uh, what do I see? Nothing is just complete and utter fog. Uh, is like the memory still playing out behind me? Uh, as you turn round, no, everything mm. saw everything has stopped. Is is the apparition of Nim still with me? Not the now. Right. I'll, I'll listen for anything or like look through, try to look through. But is there a point of light or something I should be heading towards? If not, we're just going to keep walking forward. Um, as you walk forward towards the fog, it doesn't move and it is solid wall. As you kind of come up to it and hmm, you know this is definitely the way to the, the largest hatchery. Uh, can I tap the wall with the, uh, the mace? Just yeah. bonk, bonk, bonk. Nothing? No. Uh, Strange, isn't well, it? I was... Oh, you're back! Oh, you're back! Yeah, yeah. just uh, just uh, just walks out from behind yeah. you. Strange, isn't it? Yeah. You'd think so, uh, you think having a memory of this kind of uh, event would be uh, imprinted in your mind. Oh yeah. Uh, so, I'll be honest. The memory is more kind of a is more chaotic because I remember mm. what I done. I remember the alarm. I remember running towards. I remember finding some things. I remember trying to get to the hatchery. But I mean, when you think back to these things, they're, they're more of a jumble. You get them out of order. You get them. You, you remember people being there that weren't there that maybe you met later. And uh, I'm thinking back, and all I can really remember is that sense of rage and that sense of loss that came afterwards, and that sense of guilt from losing all for not being here, defending them better. Guilt. Strange. <laughs> Why would you feel guilt? Yeah. 
I wasn't meant to be on duty, but uh, mm. perhaps if we had... <laughs> Make a, wisdom, yeah. uh, make a wisdom saving throw there. Yeah, wisdom saving throw. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a holy shit. That's a crit fail. That's an eight. Okay. Probably. Uh, <coughs> take. Does it happen or? Yeah, okay. take ten psychic damage. Holy shit. Uh, okay, Ralph's looking hurt. Uh. Well, you remember you're at full hit points. I know. I, I, yeah. I, 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 hey, hey, don't worry. I'll do a number than I was. Don't, yeah, don't yeah. worry about it. I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you know. Mm. Um, um, where was I going with that? Uh, the thing is, name. I don't know how much of my head you have access to, but um, I was considered pretty strange amongst the turtles because I, I tried to make friends with the outsiders. I tried to make friends with the goblins before as well. That's right. Yeah, and uh, perhaps if I had been uh, more suspicious, more follow people's rules or follow what they knew, then I could have done something more. Maybe I could have helped these defenses. I mean, there was places this could have been shown up. There was things I could have maybe I could have done things differently. Maybe if they weren't so busy trying to talk me into seeing it that way, I'd have seen it that way. It's funny how you mentioned earlier the fact that you weren't supposed to be on duty that day. Hmm. <laughs> Think back, was I supposed to be on duty that day? I was uh, studying, I was... Uh, so, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's what I do, I was... Uh, just for purposes of in-game there, you mentioned uh, there, it says you weren't even supposed to be on duty that day. Was that a clerk's reference? Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, that was that was your reference you just mentioned literally five minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I did say I was. Yeah, I, I remember yeah. saying it. Yeah, yeah no, no, that, I'm, I'm like, just, I'm just, like, yeah, it's just in case you were wondering yeah, yeah. why I brought it up. That was all. No, no, it's so, pretty, yeah, yeah, I wasn't supposed to be on duty that day. So you get time off, and I'd be spending more time learning about the outside world, and uh, there's there's a library within here, and maybe I was not taking on as many shifts in the guardhouse as I could have. And you're definitely sure. But this was the way you went. <laughs> Not really, no. I remember trying to head towards it, but now I think about it. Ralph now tried to, tried to head towards the, the main hatchery, but I think at the time I just kind of ran into where I had fired him from. I don't think I actually... Ralph stops for a moment and kind of like thinks. No, I think I just ran towards the fire. I don't think I actually tried to get to the hatchery it was a lot of confusion i think i was just trying to defend the area area that's hard to say area there we go what about your brother where was he at the time uh, well i mean he was always more martially inclined than i was so i think he was he would have been on duty maybe i headed towards him maybe that would have made sense i would have tried to look for him because he was always strong than i was as you say that Part of the fog starts to just to start moving, operate out of uh, into a bit, and you do see over at a point your brother mid battle with at least three or four goblins at the time, and he looks compet He's dispatching them competently, still frozen yeah. in time. Uh, yeah, I'll charge towards them. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. He just start to charge towards. They start to slowly move, and then it's full speed again, and it's. Uh, there is a goblin uh, coming up behind him with a spear. Uh, I will stop and I will use my. Uh... Oh, I have a crossbow. I will go shoot and try and shoot with the crossbow. Okay. Uh, that would be a tent. That oh, hits. Nah, that's not... Hey, fuck you, goblin. Yep, that um, hits. Brother, look out behind you. They're all around. No, I mean, I got him. <coughs> yep, I did. you kill him? As uh, you feel the spear and whoosh, ah! he gets whoosh, just thrown to the side from the shot of the uh, from the crossbow. It's they're they're very small goblins and the the impact takes him off his feet. His brother turns around and goes, oh, "Ralph, what the hell are you doing here?" I heard the noise, brother. I need to come and help you. What's happened? What? Man, man, it doesn't matter. We need to get to the main hatchery. You just you've got to get just get all the eggs out of here. We gotta help. As he just starts to bucket towards the main hatchery, is he? Yeah, yeah, follow me. No, he disappears into the fog. 
as you start ah, to follow, yeah. boom, you stop. Hmm. I thought you said yeah, you were away. I thought you said you were away at the main hatchery. <clears throat> right. What the hell else could I have known? <clears throat> Can I think back real hard? Can I roll a dice to like remember what I was doing or something? Well, that is a good question. As everything, mm. as the fog starts to envelop you, mm. and the fog just covers you, it says. So, thinking back, how far back do you want to remember? Yeah. This, this is, is just the voice of Nim now. Nim isn't here. It's yeah, just yeah. an apparition. The voice while you're stuck in the fog. <coughs> remember. Oh. Well, so I need to remember what's relevant, so I mean, if I have to go all the way back to what what matters, then I guess I'll do that. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm, whatever I need to remember, I'll think about it. Like, I'll think really hard where I was that day, where I headed that day, and where did I go? So, yeah. Anything? You tell me. Okay. <sighs> Let me see. I was in the library, and I was studying. It was about the... Uh, the Empire. <clears throat> now I heard the noises and I ran outside. I had my weapons and I ran towards the fan. I see my brother. He ran towards the hatchway. And then uh, I would have followed him. I would have tried to defend the young ones as well. So I would have went that direction. From what I remember, I say to the voice of them. Why wouldn't you go back to when, well, before this happened? You seem to be I mean, eager. Not... You seem to be eager to remember to find out what happened when you went towards the hatchery. What about before the attack? Before the attack, or when before the attack? I mean, my life was fairly complete. I was just, I studied, I <clears throat> guarded, I had my friends, and you're thinking too far back. What about that day? I mean, you said yourself you weren't supposed to be on duty, but you were. You not know, find that actually you don't actually find that weird? I mean, I wasn't on duty. I was nearby. Mm. I mean, the, the village is now massive. I just uh, I heard the noise and I went towards it. I mean, mm. I seen builders, especially the alarms go off. I'm not going to run away from the battle. I need to protect my <coughs> family. So what were you doing before, prior? Uh, what when I was studying, or you were studying. Yeah. So, as if as the the fog just kind of disappears, you're now in a mm -hmm. familiar room, sure room, from your hut. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a look around. Uh, give me a perception check. A twelve. I'm uh, rolling so well this evening. It's definitely your room. A uh, mm. couple of books, as you say, uh, alluding to, again into your history and your past. You're saying you were, you were relatively unusual. You had books. You had a history, a book on the history of Florium, uh, mm. given in general some of the religious texts as well that you were you were gifted. Uh, mm -hmm. You also have numerous trinkets lying about. A couple of em uh, emeralds. A couple of sapphires as well. Uh, in a bag that's on your desk. You've got an ink and quill, a couple of things. Uh, but yeah, but nothing, nothing unusual at that point. You look out, it's high noon. It's high um, noon. <laughs> it's high noon. Uh, uh, it is high um, noon outside. Uh, it does seem to marry up with your with your memory. Uh, yeah, you, it looks as if you may have been studying. Um, and um, given the time of day, it's high noon as well. Uh, um, maybe an hour, hour and a half before the attack. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I go over <clears> and I have a look at the book. Uh, there'll be a book open on my desk. Uh, is the, does a book have any significance to it? I'll flip to the, just the front cover. Uh, which um, uh, which book are you looking at? Just a book. That I assume <coughs> I have a book on my desk. But I've been studying. I've been studying something specific. I tended to like. I was very interested in the. Uh, Ralph is very interested in the the lands out with. Uh, the turtle kind of um, village and locations. So you like to read about the empire and like stories of that. Um, so uh, pretty much, uh, yeah. Like to say, there is several bookmarks here and there. Some uh, mm. dog-eared 
uh, pages of specific chapters within the uh, with the, in- the interest of the the history of the empire. Uh, a load of different things like customs, um, trade routes, the general stuff they've been looking over. Uh, make me a wisdom saving throw. God damn it! Seventeen. Uh... <clears throat> Nothing major jumps out at you from the looking of all this, but however, there is certain stuff um, that kind of doesn't marry up. I mean, it's um, mm. certain skills for some reason why you would learn. Um, you're, there's stuff like tanning, for instance, tanning leather. You, you don't have any animals on the island to make leather. And in fact, if anything, you always imported it in selling off your sapphires, for instance, mm-hmm. uh, for instance stuff like that. Also kind of things... Um, Although there is other there is others there, likes of fishing, uh, some cooking as well in general, but you were never much of a good cook anyway. It was not something you did. Mm. But again, it seems to marry up with everything of your history saying, Yeah, you just you just studied, this is what you did. You were learning things. Yeah. I'm just happy to do so, yeah. Um okay. Um I'll put my like the door. I'm not sure how that would work. Is it? It's like beads or like something like the cloth that's over the front of my heart. Well, how do you remember? Door. How do you remember? Is it a door or is it the beads that you you walk yourself through? Well, I feel like just the what it would be. Do like some <coughs> like flap or something like kind of keep out wind. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah this is your like memory. Like hide. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, your so memory. Yeah. So yeah, uh, as you walk towards the door, yeah, the 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 fog starts to di- uh, dis- uh, dissipate again. Uh, again maybe 12 uh not so much 12 foot this time it's more 50 60 foot in front so it seems as if yeah you were calm at this point and the memories were a little bit yeah, more clear. yeah clearer to you okay uh, i'll look for anyone i recognize um is there any like a, a mentor figure or like someone i was friendly with or just have a look around a bit like is there anything unusual a mentor figure. yeah why yes indeed you used to have regular uh meetings with well, oh, well, all he's did he used to have regular meetings mm-hmm. with the the higher the the elder council mm-hmm. of the Tortles in regards to what uh, your job was and all this kind of thing. That's kind of the hierarchy. So he used to have a lot yeah, of, yeah. especially you being uh, taking up the religious route that you did. Mm-hmm. I was yeah, I was always in training to become a priest of the people. So yeah. Um, <coughs> yeah, so yeah, I look around and I, I, yeah, okay, I look for my, my mentor figure and I, do I see them at all or do I see anything so, unusual? Um, it's quite a bit away, uh, it's further within uh, the main kind of village, so as you start to walk towards the village, you see the, as the fog does to dissipate again, as you're starting to walk towards, and it says, uh, this is when Nim again comes out from behind you and just, just happened to be walking, just appears for nowhere going, so, so what do you remember about this place? Well, my hub was there, and that's where I would bring text. Uh, that built more where the larger one, that's where they stored all the text that, the, um, that they would import or we would purchase, or sometimes the merchants would just give to us. Uh, that building over there is the uh, temple. That's where you would go and you would do your morning prayers or you would listen to sermons or you would debate theology with um, the, uh, the priests and the wise, Torahs and such. Uh, that area over there is where they prefer food. That area over there is where they, they would we would learn martial skills. We're all to learn how to use maces and swords and such. Mm. Uh, and you know, beyond that, there's a marketplace where the few um, outlanders we let in would go there and show the wares, and we would we would haggle with them to to purchase some. Outlanders, you spent a lot of time with them, did you? I uh, did. Yeah, that's. <laughs> A lot of turtles, they refuse to even learn comment. They, they're mm. just, they refuse. They don't like the way it sounds on their tongue. But uh, I like the stories. Uh, I like the funny way they dress. They have funny hats. <clears throat> I love them wear armor because they don't have, like, the shells like we do. Uh, but, yeah, I would like to spend time with them and listen to what they have to say. That's where I learned the other languages as well. That's where I can speak, and I'll say something in the Elvish, and then yeah. say something in Dwarven. Oh, that's impressive. It was that way, that was very unusual for turtles. Not a lot of us like to do that. Oh, it also is why I had to interact so much because they would try and get things over us. Ah, I suppose, yeah. I mean, you want to make sure everything was above board and legal, right? Yeah. 
It's just best to wait till the end of the discussions when they've been like, talking behind your back. And then oh, they'll say something to at the end and you say, thank you for your, your custom in all languages. <coughs> well, that makes yeah. sense, like. <laughs> so as you're starting to walk around there, uh, you are actually come up to where the uh, the Outlanders would come, uh, what you would call your port, uh, just for mm-hmm. the, 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 the trades of goods and that. Yeah, yeah. So um, as you're pa- yeah, as you're passing that, and you start to walk towards your temple, the fog starts to come down again. I feel like I'm missing something important. Name is there? Do I have something left in my memory? Is there? Yeah. Is there something I missed? Did I? And then I suddenly start thinking like, well, man, do we have any outlanders in the village that day? Well, if uh, make the well. I've actually done you make the perception check as you say as you're passing the outloader port the port is still within view go look for ships as you start to walk towards the ships so as you start to walk down to the port it is as clear as day the fog from where you are though is slightly about five foot to your left in this bend. you're not it seems as if you're not concentrating on anything on this side mm. the fog starts to come in further in on your right hand side is almost as if you're tunnel visioned again. It's not so much it's not so much anger you're feeling this time or the rage like you felt before in the war. It seems to be more of fear. Nervousness. And is there anything specific that's making me feel this way? Is there anything that I'm witnessing that I'm making me upset? Make me a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, damn it. it's a strange sensation because you've always you were always confident around the outlanders it was always the case because again you knew the languages you knew if they were going to try and get one over and you always had the upper hand Mm. but for some reason there's just something turning in your stomach that just doesn't it doesn't marry up So did I see something? Was there a was there a ship there or some kind? Was the Outlanders there that day? Uh, yeah, as you start to walk down again, you're very very narrow. It's like a, almost like a small ten foot narrow corridor. Uh, you can still see stuff behind you for five foot, but then the fog starts to come mm-hmm. up because again you weren't looking behind you. Yeah. Just, but you, as you start to walk up to the the port, um. There is a couple of the there is a couple of there. there's a couple of turtles uh, there, there is a couple of ships that came in. Um, interesting. I'll make me a perception check. Do, 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 do. Um, perception check. Twenty one. Eleven. Eleven. Uh, no. There's nobody you recognise here other than the uh, the turtle uh, the turtle ship workers. Uh, but like I say, there's there's a couple of ships in the harbour, uh, just unloading goods, and you see one right. of the the harbour masters handing sapphires over to, uh, a, someone in particular. With the knowledge that Ralph has now, he says to himself in the third person, mm-hmm. um, "Do I recognise uh, the ship? Well, do I recognise any markings on the ships that identify them as, for example, Freitas Lux <coughs> or the uh, trading company that uh, was very famous that I forgot the name of in the moment?" Um, that, is, uh, or... that is a very good question. If you'd like to make me another perception check with advantage. Um, could be Captain Kimmy in that, isn't it? That's some bitch. Uh, 23. Finally a good roll. Uh, give us a minute. <laughs> uh. Uh, where are we? <laughs> Here you are. Sorry, I... I should have done this to begin. I'm just reading some of the, the chat there. Um, uh, real slow has been very funny. <laughs> so, yes, Ralph, you must <coughs> remember this. Melga really sucks. <laughs> there is a. As, you, as you're walking up towards where the captain uh, of one of the ships is being. Uh, handed some sapphires as you start to walk up closer the fog comes down again and starts to lead you towards the left hand side over to one of the quieter areas of the port you, you notice a skiff 
It's a very, very small skiff. Uh, it's strange. Mm. It's not exactly wooden. There is some metal elements to it. There's also some kind of stone elements to it. This seems to be... It's nothing like... It's not anything like you've seen before. It is more of a kind of technology that's... Neither here nor there, but it looks almost steampunky, but it's, it's very modern for the day. It's, it's, I don't even know the age where you would describe it. However, mm. there is a name on the side, and it is the Occulta Passio. Like the passion of turn was said, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, I got like stare at it for a moment, and future Ralph, uh, myself, and be like, well made, looks expensive. Uh, do I see any people, persons, otherwise on the boat, or is it I can be like, uh, whose boat is this? Well, funnily enough, <clears throat> as you start to walk towards it, Someone starts to come down the gangplank. That feeling in your stomach, nervousness, fear, is starting to really, really get to you. Uh, if you take another 10 points of psychic damage at this point. Oh, shit. That's ah, looking real fucked up, guys. <clears throat> Don't you worry about him. He's fat. So, as you're walking One of his up... eyeballs is moving. As you're walking up, it is... A humanoid, tricorder hat, mask round, bright yellow eyes, big long duster, huge boots, and just comes down and his hands in front of his in front of his stomach and he's just standing. Uh, hey, hello, hello. my name is Krimana Falada Grolaka Rael. I just start to talk, nothing Kimura. comes out. There is no there is no there is nothing comes out of your mouth. Hmm. That's funny. You're usually very talkative. I didn't speak to them at the time, though, did I? Um. <clears throat> well, that's interesting. Now... If I had to guess, I would say that that skiff is from the Passion Eternal. And the more I think about it, I think perhaps that I was maybe responsible in some way. Did I tell them location? Did I give away the location? Did I just see it? Did they signal? I just never never realized at the time. I mean, okay, let's just keep watching the, the, uh, the person. Did they just stop <coughs> and not move? Is there any movement behind them at all? Or did the eyes no, lock up here at all? It is completely and utterly still. It's almost as time is frozen. Uh, but it does look as if this person is waiting on something. So, but in this moment, everything and the kind of like the scene has kind of frozen. though, yeah, yeah. so there's nothing's happening right now. Okay, um, am I quite close? Can I approach further, or do I find it as like a like a weird distance that I can't see um, closer? Funnily enough. You can approach closer, but this is still solid in time. Right, okay. Um, I think back to, if I did visit the docks that day, did I do something else? Did I did I engage with somebody else? And did I was I just kind of like side-eyeing this the whole time? I think real hard. Is that what, is that what I was doing? <laughs> uh, make me a wisdom saving throw. Because you've been doing so um, well at these. <laughs> 16. With 16, uh, you try and think back, you look to the sides again, the, you're, it's almost within, you're, a, you're in a tunnel and then you've got a 10 foot see, uh, sphere mm -hmm. of where you are with this guy. In fact, it, some of the ship is not even visible now, you can just see the name, the the, the occult to Paseo. With the guy just looking at you, just with hands down here, and then hmm, you start to look around them, there's nothing you can see, and then you start to hear a Seems to be some sort of metal clanging. It's almost like keys. It's almost like a chain of some sort. Yeah, I look around for the source of that noise. It makes noise every time you move. 
is it coming from me? Is it like so? It's just it's no matter where I look, it's coming from the opposite <clears throat> direction, or no, is no, it it's coming, coming from me, or it seems to be coming from you. I look at myself. Yeah, you look down. On your on your on your side, there seems to be a pouch, a bag of some sort. I open up the pouch and have a look inside. It doesn't open. God damn it. <laughs> Memories are hard. I mean, so is guilt. I think we landed on something here. You say the Mac Gamers was killed, you hold me back. <laughs> I mean, you felt guilty for everyone else who was dying in front of you. You felt guilt for the fact that that Nim, Vannon, all these other people are dying for what you obviously think is a, a worthy cause. I wonder why that is. Thanks for a moment. And, um, you saw, I mean, there's few worthy causes than saving. I mean, this is the future of the tribe. I mean, the next generation is going to be decimated unless I can get these these hatchlings back. And on top of that, I mean, it's a, purely an act of evil to eat the young. Uh, I mean, I don't say, I wouldn't say there's no price, this price is too great, but <coughs> I didn't deliberately kill most of those people. And I tried to save those that I could. Did you? Tried to save them. Man, and I never seen that. The two in the island, I took them where they wanted to go, uh, and they went willingly with the with the uh, the acolytes who we met there. The captain, I'll be honest, he was kind of a dick. What about uh, what about the young? You never made it to the hatchery. Did I? I mean, the ones who got taken. This is a, this is your memories. You can always go back. Okay, well, uh, sorry, point of clarification. Go back further or go back to the moment of I did not arriving the hatchery? Mm -hmm. So go back further. Yeah. No, okay, you can, so you can I... either, well, you can either go back further if you wish. You can go forward. This is your memory. Well, well let me try and remember what happened there. When, did I try? I mean, I'm sure I tried to get into the fad and save as many as I could. So, yeah, I'll try and remember exactly what I did do. Hello. Okay, so Hello. as the the fog envelops again, you're back out. Um, just as you see your brother run into the fog. Okay. Towards the hatchery. I chase after. I chase after him. Yeah, uh, you start to chase after. This time mm -hmm. it opens, and you start to move behind him. He is gaining pace. That rage and anger you're feeling is growing stronger. Yeah, when that makes sense, yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll, you know, just I keep chasing after him ahead to where I would, I would, <coughs> I feel like I remember going. Yep. So as you as you're running past, another uh, another uh, corridor opens up to your left. It starts to lead off into what seems to be some of the uh, the more kind of tropical area of the island, more foresty grassland area. Uh, do I in that moment do I feel like the path towards my brother is kind of clouding and that one is maybe perhaps the way I went or uh, is this just a, a fork in the road kind of Make situation Make me a wisdom saving throw Twenty five. You strongly want to go into this forest Right. In that moment, I will I will head towards the forest to see if perhaps did I run that day? Did I cower? Did I shirk my duty? Take duty? five GT? psychic points of worth of damage as well. How are you looking? Yeah. I'm about to tell you. You fucked up. <laughs> hmm. So what do you do? I head towards the forest. You head um, towards the forest, yeah. The fog starts to dis uh, dissipate as uh, almost like a, a cone, so to speak, as you walk in. Hmm. You hear signs of struggle and battle. <clears throat> I run towards the signs of struggle and battle. You see a turtle as he's, uh, he's lying over what seems to be some sort of goblin chieftain 
it's just, ah! and you see the gob uh, you see the, the turtle bring up his mace and it just stops in time and goes hmm do you remember this wait wait this is this is when I was younger this was before this is when I stopped him and I'm gonna look at my set I'm gonna look mm. at my own hat do I look like a younger turtle at this point very much so um, uh, you no. look about three, four years younger. I remember this man. This was the... no. <coughs> yeah. I think I remember what I done here. I stopped him killing that uh, goblin because I I said it was wrong. We shouldn't just chase these guys off and treat them like vermin. Perhaps we treated them better. As soon as you and in that moment, I would run up and yeah. I literally kind of literally threw myself like, no, you got to leave him. God damn it. Yeah, as soon as you do that, it's... <laughs> but he's the enemy. He's the enemy. We need to kill him. Um, Thanks back to what he said at the moment, and it's uh, along the lines of, like, no, we have to stop doing this. We can't just kill them off. Perhaps if we stop killing them, they'll stop coming after us. We need to speak to them. We need to open a dialogue. But yeah, now I'm just literally using my body to block it, and I'm kind of like... Pulling the gob up and shoving him away. Just run. You remember this. Maybe maybe we can talk to them. Make me. Oh, what will you uh, make me a persuasion check? Oh no, I'm getting bumped in the face. Fuck you! Fuck you, Ralph! Oh no! Uh, oh, my persuasion <clears throat> is not good, guys. Hey! <laughs> Look, you dick, don't kill him. Oh, shit. No. So, as this happens, he goes, What do they keep stealing? They just come in and steal our food. Why would you protect? No. You son of a bit. And he pulls up his mace and he goes to swing it towards you. Uh, Everything starts I... to s slow down in time. Mm -hmm. What do you do? I took the hat. I took the hat. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't. I'm not going to hit my a, a brother, but I'm not going to let him kill somebody that was was already beaten. So yeah, I will let him fucking so, wail on me. As soon as the mace comes down on you, it stops about here, and you see, mm -hmm. and it stops in time. The ma uh, the turtle is taking an impact. Hmm. God damn it! Strange. Hmm. Why would you protect the goblin chieftain? Why would your brother swing a mace at your head? Well, I mean, I was different. I was, I was friendly to the outside races. I was more trusted. And I mentioned to you before, I, I said we should maybe try and speak to these goblins. I read in one of the books that uh, goblins take on the... It's, it's a long story, but basically they... If they're integrated and they're treated well, they start to uh, better. Because they got short laughs, if they're treated poorly, they, they mature quickly and they, they act feral. And I thought perhaps if we could befriend the... the, the Goblin society is basically the strongest one rules. If we befriend this one, he would then tell his little fellows that we are, we are good and we could perhaps help them. And we could maybe, I don't know about integrate them, but we could certainly help them build up some kind of level of civilization. Make me a wisdom oh, saving yeah. throw. It was a failed experiment. Oh, well, listen to me. That was a 20. That was a 20. Hmm. This was all I said my backstory, by the way, guys. He's actually read my backstory. <laughs> yep. Um... <laughs> It's pasted into five pages of backstory. Something's building in your gut. The more and more you do, the more and more you talk about this, and the more and the more you mention about this, you have to you're explaining everything to them. Mm. Song doesn't sit right. Fear comes over again. That same fear you felt at the docks. The nervousness, the 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 nausea, again, just as strong. The look of uh, the look of fear and shock in the turtle in the turtle's face is right up at you, with the mace above you. Uh, 
It almost looks like disappointment. Shock. Yeah. All at the same time. Yeah. And your hands are wet. Did you look down? You see, yeah. a, you see a dagger pointing oh, into the side of the door, the turtle. Blood starting to run down. Like time starts to time starts to come up. Says, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Falls down dead. To be honest, I don't remember this bit, but I guess uh, I guess I defended myself. The trainer must have kicked in. Um, dead, dead. Well, again, the... yeah, you're you're run over. Was... He is. He's dead, dead. Yeah. No. Strangely enough, you feel, the pre- you feel the presence of your uh, your deity there, w- almost willing you to heal him. Yeah, I'll put I have, yeah I will put my hands upon him and cast a uh, cure wounds at level one. Doesn't work. Whoop. Shit. Uh, uh, I ain't got nothing I can do. I mean, I can do a medicine check, but he's dead, dead. So. Oh, he's dead for sure. You can feel it. Yeah. I look around, does the goblin chieftain run off? No, no, no. The goblin chieftain is looking over your shoulder. Come on, get out of here. You, you make the noise, it, do, it doesn't come out. You didn't chase him off? No. I don't, I don't really want to. I think real hard. So I, I I don't know. I was in shock. I didn't mean to kill him. I mean, just I couldn't let him finish me. It's one thing if you're taking a hit to defend someone. Because you couldn't let him find out. Again, guilt is a powerful motivator. Yeah, of course, Salem. He's like. I, uh, can't believe I killed this man, <clears throat> this turtle. Over a goblin. And you hate goblins as well, it's well known. Yeah, now I think back to this, is perhaps. Oh, this just came from. That's right, I tried, and then. Because of them, I ended up <clears throat> killing one of my own. Can I turn around and shoot that god? Do you want to? I think I do. As soon as you turn around, the goblin looks at you and goes, I'm sorry. He almost found out. I didn't know he was following me. <laughs> I found out what? So I found what? Take 14 points of uh, psychic damage. Okay. Somebody's looked at my HP. <clears throat> Find out what? Yeah. Is that what you're asking? Nim comes up. Find out what indeed. What's happening here? Uh. What is happening here? I think real hard. <clears throat> so. What is happening here? He started, the goblin starts to speak again. Look, you have to make sure it's everything's in place. You need to make sure you're working on this day. You have to let them in. You cannot let them get in without being seen. You have to let them in. You owe us this. You took our money. Okay, um... And we promise you, you'll get a cut of all the profits. We guarantee it. Okay. Um, Ralph thinks back real hard. Did I take a bribe to uh, let the, go- the goblins plunder the hatchery? And then renege in the deal? Or is he mistaken? Is he... <laughs> like, like, Lee's not happy with this character <laughs> choice. Lee will remember this. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, that's a lot of guilt. I mean, it would understandable if you were hate all the goblins. I mean, the goblins went and ransacked you young, didn't they? 
That's a lot of guilt to have on your shoulders. Why would you be chasing after them, I wonder? So, uh, does she mean chasing after gobbles or chasing mm. after the eggs? Why would you be... Oh, you tell me. <laughs> uh, I mean, no, that fits. I hate goblins because they plundered the hatchery. That that works for me. Mm -hmm. um, That's a lot of guilt to have on one's conscience. Yeah. Is that maybe why you feel guilt for everyone that's died in this pursuit? Was it maybe your fault, the fact that all these people are dying for something that you caused? No, this is not the way it happened. I never saw a fast young for gold. I have no interest in gold. I've walked away from piles of gold to try and save people's lives. Not There's mine the... still at sapphires. It's not all... Um, I reject this. Not all that glitters is gold. No, this isn't this isn't the way it happened. I did not sacrifice the future of my people for why would I have came after them? Why would I have why would I have prayed to my God to be given powers to go and rescue them after for <clears throat> for money? Money has very little meaning to us other than buying goods in. I lack stories, but I wouldn't sacrifice the future of my people for money to buy bits of paper. There might be more This, this can't be right. There might be more to this story. I mean, did you did you actually follow your brother to the the hatchery? I maintain it, I did. I mean, so as the fog starts to descend on and everything, it starts to come in and crows on in you again. Bar the path you came down. Mhm. Mm you could always find. I out. go that way. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Fucking... yeah. So, this <coughs> so as you not. as you're starting to walk down, you hear the. <clears throat> It seems to be a thunder's coming in. Seems to be red, purple, green, orange lightning mm -hmm. just bolts from everyone. You can see in the sky, even through the fogs, as it starts mm -hmm. to illuminate the path as you're going down. You start to come back to the fork where you were. Yeah. And I head towards my brother. I was going to try and save him and save. And do what I can to help. So yeah, I charge that direction. I'm uh, looking for my brother. I'm looking just to help any way I can. Got my weapon, got my crossbow. Yep. So you start to run in. Uh, again, opens up into a cone. You see the battle zone uh, as hell. You can see goblins dragging nets of these eggs away. You see turtles falling under the fire of arrows, bolts. You even think you hear a cannonball just firing from, from a ship from the distance just coming through tearing through some of your turtle brethren as you start to come in goblins start to charge at you what do you do uh, well if, first of all <coughs> um do i feel magical or am i bound by my uh you have previous abilities? you feel like you have magic right you motherfuckers i'm gonna shoot some fuckers um Oh shit, I just realised actually I could have done something to that guy that died. Um, okay. Um, is there any um, of my turtle brethren uh, about me? Yeah, there's loads. There's, uh, you're, it's almost as if you're going for a final charge and push as your brother charges in ahead just with these yeah. huge I cast... double sword. <laughs> I cast Crusader's Mantle on myself. Hell yeah, uh, go which ahead. Which means uh, anyone within a 30 foot radius is going to get a D4 extra radiant damage when they are weapons, I believe. Yep. And two spins, uh, which you said, each non hostile creature in the area, including you, deals an extra 1D4. So yeah, just kind of like, light glows out from me and I just kind of charge towards him. Um, and yeah, just stream something in Aquin like we need to push them back. We need to push them back. <coughs> uh, and yep. also incredibly hurt. So let's yeah. see what happens here. So your brother, you see the you see the swords and the weapons of all your brethren just start to light up in this radiant magic as your sword as your brother's sword just cleaves through two of the goblins and he just goes straight in, cannon fire um, ballistas just mm. just coming in from the sides, explosions left and right. As the best way I could probably describe it, the best way, and unfortunately, it'd be like saving Private Ryan. You're coming in, just, rah, just you're, you're just running <laughs> just, through. Just full with no arms, picking a, up their yeah. arms. Like, oh. 
is I wouldn't say it's hundreds. I'd say it was like well, maybe tens. Saying. 30, 40 of you yeah, just yeah. against hordes of goblins. Rawr, you're just running in. Uh, a couple of goblins run up to you. Uh, roll a hit. If you want to attack. Do you want to attack? Yeah, uh, yeah I want to attack these motherfuckers. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go with... Um, yeah, I feel magical, so I don't see why I wouldn't. Uh, yep. Yeah, I am going to... Um, where's my phone? <coughs> I'm sure that's right. Uh, I'll Sacred Flame uh, a couple of people, so they've got the deck saving throws. I'm assuming we don't really want to roll for like imaginary goblins. So yeah, goblin comes happen. up yeah, with two da- daggers, you poof, just throw a Sacred Flame and poof, just explodes <laughs> in furious anger. Yeah, you're starting to cleave your way, you're smacking goblins yeah, yeah. out of the way. The last goblin you hit didn't feel mm. too heavy. It was a case of you just hit him and you left him to it. You didn't mm-hmm. touch him. You just left him to it. You didn't check to see if he was dead. You didn't check to see if he was alive. You just yeah, went yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, busy. He's down high. Uh, make me a wisdom saving throw. Okay, guys. This could mm. kill me. Uh, Twelve. It wasn't a killing hit. It wasn't a killing blow you did to that goblin. It mm-hmm. was almost as if you were just trying to swap him out of the way so he wouldn't hurt your brother. Uh, it's the same with the... We could think back of it as well. The, the crossbow bolt you fired wasn't exactly a killing hit it was just to get your get him out of the way of killing your brother mm-hmm. this hit though you're killing and you're killing with intent you know so the furious anger is built and it is building to a crescendo mm-hmm. as you start to cleave your way through you start to see people dying the battle starting to come to a uh, to its glorious crescendo yeah, yeah. as you see the very goblin chieftain come up with the huge morning star just whoa, rah, he's charging straight towards you Get me a guiding bolt, that bitch. <coughs> Roll a guiding bolt. Mm. Yeah, this will be a level two guiding bolt for this bitch. Um, for a 20, uh, for a total of 17 damage. 17 damage, boom. Oh, you see the as radiant light just close all across him, and he's, yeah, he's still running at you. He is absolutely furious with rage. I mean, I really thought I would kill him, so I mean, uh, I guess I'm gonna do that shit again. Like, hey, motherfucker! Uh, does a 21 uh, hit you? 21 hit. Well, it will hit me and it will kill me because I am on one hit point. Well, that's a good point, actually. So, yeah, hits you. Boom! He just catches you with an uppercut and it's. Whoa! You're up in the air, you're down on the ground. Mm-hmm. You're feeling the daze. You're starting to. Oh, you're starting to feel unconscious. You're starting to go dark. Mm-hmm. Boom, the, the goblin jumps on you and says, picks you up by the throat. We had a deal. Oh, shit. <laughs> What'd you do? Uh, nothing. Sure, they just like, I'll go for the bite. Cause I think, uh, is this, can I do that? No, it's claws we have, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I've got like the kind of turtle hard mouth thing. So I'll go for the nose bite. Um, right, roll the... Uh, yeah, roll the hit. Cool. Well, I guess that'd just be an unarmed strike. Uh, um, certainly will. Okay, uh, 13. 13 misses, unfortunately. As you come up, <laughs> he goes, I'll make sure your profits go to somewhere more worthy. And he hits you, bomb, goes black. Mm-hmm. Darkness, mm-hmm. Con- consistent darkness at this point. Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden, Nim appears in front of you in this darkness. Uh huh. Hmm. It's a lot of guilt to hold. I mean, all these people are dying for a cause that you caused. Now, I feel like. Uh, would you say I Why would I hide this? I mean, this is myself. This is not the way I remember it. This is not the way I've ever said it's happened. Well, this why... seems to go against my very nature as well. Well, why didn't you kill the, why didn't you kill the goblin chieftain when you had the chance? In my younger days, I was I wanted to help these people, and then my hatred, as you said, as you rather said, stand for what they done to my to the the hatchery. Hmm. I tried, and you don't always. So I mean, this why did I try to kill him? Because I thought <laughs> perhaps we could build bridges. But I've been proven wrong, and now I'm being told that I. You did I mean, a deal with them? You did say, though. I mm. mean, and don't get me wrong, 
and correct me if I'm wrong. You did say though you didn't actually gain any of your magical innate abilities until you actually left on your journey. Yeah, that's right. We uh, we some of us were we mm. volunteered and we prayed and we some of us were born fighters. I I was not particularly a fighter, but I was bestowed these gifts of by uh, the goddess of our people. Mm. Uh, I think her name's Osha. I'd have to check it. Yeah. Um. But uh, I was bestowed these gifts, and as but she sees all, she understands who we are and what we are, and she will give these powers to someone who trained our people in such a way. Unless it was, I like to think. Well, you know, a lot of people always try and look for redemption in other ways. Could you be looking for redemption? Um, looking for redemption for what I caused, like it seems like. Well, why not? Could be why you're looking. I mean, I you said it yourself. Story at all. You said yourself. Mm -hmm. Why would you be out looking for them if you'd caused this? The only way I can see is if you're you're, you're trying to redeem yourself. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking for them for the reason I've stayed in the past. That is, they were lost, and some of us went out to find them. Now, a logical choice because I at least have learned the languages of the of the other people. That as well, or it could mm -hmm. be because you caused this all. Not bad in there at all. Uh, looks down, looks out there. <clears throat> no, I didn't, and I wouldn't. It's because I've been foolish in the past. Does not mean I would sell out my people for gold. It's not in my nature. It never has been. Not all that glitters is gold. Perhaps. I look. I, I make no. Yeah, I make no excuses. I wanted to go and see the world, and this gave me an excuse to. But I certainly wouldn't sell out people and cause the deaths of dozens of turtles and risk hundreds more to be eaten. Just as an excuse to go and see the. World. I'm allowed to leave the village if I want. I can speak to the elders and say I want to go and, go on a journey and come back and perhaps bring back something of value. Make me a. Uh, I didn't even need to that. Me where was I'm saving from it? I wanna um do 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 ten woof Oh no Rob's head explodes oh, Almost <laughs> Yeah <coughs> You feel that you feel that psychic uh, tingling though again it's hurting. Ow Are you and you're so sure? Yeah I wouldn't, and I didn't betray my people for any excuse to leave when I could have left. The powers I have are solely for this. I've even talked previously about uh, giving up those powers. I told Melvin I would gladly go back and save up my time for what he claimed his necromancy. His powers and seeing the world mean so much to me. Why would I do that? I'm beginning to think that, Nim, you're not part of my mind. It's just something else. What makes you say that? Why must you say that? Because you're trying to convince me that I've done something that is so reprehensible that I would then go into the world to try and redeem myself when it just doesn't seem right to me. Like, I remember what I've done. Well, of all the people you could have operated, you decided to go mm -hmm. against your brother and use Nim. Yeah, because I miss my friend. Because you feel guilty. You said it yourself. That's right. My brother's still alive, and I feel guilty for telling him to leave, but I also was worried that he'd been corrupted in some way. And if I'm wrong, I can apologize to my brother, but nothing is going to bring them back unless I become so powerful I can do so. Looks are hard. Wishes he'd prepared to take good and evil, but didn't. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. So at this point, what is it you do? I 
Um, obviously, I feel battered and broken from all the psychic damage. How does do I feel overall? Do I feel like I'm fading? Do I look at myself and am I fading? No, you're still there. Uh, man, where were we heading originally? Am I supposed to, is this? If I, am I just coming back here to explore a past that never existed? Is my guilt trying to convince me that this was all my fault somehow and I would sell out my people? Would that bring me back? I think there was the Twenty-one. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to work this out. I'm just looking at uh, some of the, the comments. Yeah, yeah, I, I was chatter. looking at some of the comments as well. Yeah. <laughs> How are we doing, guys? Okay. <laughs> uh, and you're definitely sure these aren't your memories. Yeah, it just don't. It doesn't sit right with me, and I just don't see why I would have done these things. And I certainly don't know why I would have try, I would have tried so hard to bring them back if all I wanted to do was leave and have power and send away my brother. This story was inconsistent. I also partially thought perhaps he was the one who sold us out. Well, how do you remember it then? I told you the day of their battle, I ran towards it. I, I fought alongside my brother. I tried to get towards the hatcheries. It's a bit of a in my mind, but uh, I uh, we fought. They broke through our lines. They grabbed what they could and they left. I was wounded in the battle, as you as you've seen. There was. Cannon fire, there was ballista, there was multitudes of goblins. There we're only so many. We can't fight back or hold. And previously, it always been small hit and run skirmishes. They were disorganized. They could be pushed back. I guess part of why I dislike them so much is because they uh, they got organized. Mm. But now I look back at it, they didn't get organized. Now ballista and cannons. They're obviously bankrolled by somebody. Remembering that skiff, it was probably something to do with a passion of turn, that's what eggs ended up. But I don't have any more answers than that. I mean, this happened. We hosted our defenses, some of us were picked. <clears throat> okay. And I so chose to go out in the world and look for them. If not you, then who? I'm not saying no turtle could be could be corrupted with a lot of gold, but we were a close knit family. I mean, maybe my brother, but I didn't truly believe that. I was worried, but he might have. I don't know. I'm trying to think what you could offer a turtle that they don't really have. I mean. They like, my people generally love that sense of family you said yourself I've built myself a family and I'm considered the oddball and I still had to build somebody around me because I was feeling lonely it's uh I like to be a part but not alone uh, <laughs> well sometimes they say I like to be uh, alone but I don't want to be by myself so it's uh I don't know who would betray us, but I I don't know why it would be me. I don't know why why even you would think it was me. And I don't know why I'd lie to myself within my own mind. Maybe it was I'm saving for all. So <sighs> wizard did that uh eleven. Twenty seven I rolled there. <laughs> You, you say that. Yeah. But as you say, this is your mind. Mm -hmm. So only you, it's only you can answer that. I feel like I've answered that. This is your memories <laughs> of this. All I'm saying is if this is your memories, I mean, what else could be affecting it, right? Is this my memory or is this a combination of guilt and poison and the fact that I held on near the verge of death? Uh 
Well, we'll just need to see, won't we? Yeah. As she disappears, just kind of fades into the shadow. Jimmy. Yeah. Okay. You are now in a black. <laughs> you are in <laughs> the is. black. It is black, it is dark. Mm. Well, Ralph will choose the sweet kiss of oblivion rather than be forced to accept that he was the cause of the the, the stealing of children within his village. So, yeah, this is the way it ends for a good old Ralph, and this is the way he dies a hero. Because <laughs> fuck that bullshit. So, that's all right. So, mm-hmm. with that, yeah, you start, you start to feel heavy, you start to blink a little bit. Yep. Stand up, you feel a bit tired. And then you blink, and it's just dark. No, it was already dark, but it's dark all the way, and you can't see anything else. There's like hold hand in front of the face, can't see hand back in a situation. It. You can't see your hand. Oh, look at that. I'm in the mode. Um, but I still have a consciousness in that, yeah? We'll find that out next week. Ah! Hold on, before we do that, I try and cast Sending <laughs> to... Shit, what was there? What's those other characters in this game called? <laughs> they all have names. Oh yeah, you feel so guilty for them all, yeah, but you don't know their names. <laughs> yeah, there's so hard, there's so many of them, man. Uh, hold on a second, I, I'll find one of their names in a second. Uh, yeah, that character... That character, that, that one you you know so well, you can't remember that one, the name. my bestest friend. You were literally talking about some to... of them. You, you mentioned yeah, them yeah. right at the start, I want to apparate these characters. <laughs> yeah, I, I will send uh, I will send that message to Melgrim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Melgrim, I am either stuck in my own mind uh, or possibly in a spirit world. So maybe save me with an antidote or something, and then like you know I don't remember like however many words, and see if it comes back. Then it come back, or do I know it good? Did it connect? I would know. Hmm, that is a good <laughs> fucking question. Um, so I'm, so I'm I'll tell you what, up. I will get back to you on that. I'll take a note of that because <laughs> this this could change things. That's actually not a bad mm. idea. Okay. Right, uh, in that case, okay. we have got through this session. Uh-huh. We'll find out what happens. I will tally up the results, uh, especially now with this, uh, especially with this fucking thing. <laughs> I might need to make you. I I might need to make you roll something. Uh, mm. We'll not. We'll do it off stream though, because I want to keep it as a as a surprise for everyone else. However, hi. Mm. So, how do you feel? That was weird. Mm. I don't know how I feel. I was like, hey, wait a minute, what's happening here? This is this is not what I wrote. So I don't know where we're going with this, but no. Is it? Um, <laughs> most of it's what yeah, you wrote. Fucking, yeah, most of it, apart from the weird thing with the goblins that I'm not accepting. Um, but yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was uh, It's odd when it's just the two of you, because you can't, you don't leave that pause because you wait for someone else to talk, then you realise it's just the two yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh yeah, I better speak. Um, <laughs> it's like, so yeah, that was it. Was an interesting experience doing a one on a one VDM uh, session. I have, but, yeah, like I said, that was, was, was good. I was good. I, it was a good actual session just to kind of get that idea out there because, uh, huh, I got ideas of doing uh, sessions with one players for like so the the charity stream I was talking about ages ago. Uh, yeah. It's good to have that kind of experience behind it. There's also other ideas I had for other stuff, which is for other games because again we'll need to discuss if we're mm-hmm. going to continue D&D for oh, yes yeah, because of the controversy because of the controversy of the we with our fellow brethren fuck D&D I'm not, not playing we've... D&D again ever uh, <laughs> we, we this is going to be Dragon Bane in future <laughs> actually uh, Dragon Bane was Vihammer or something like that <laughs> <laughs> Vihammer or Pathfinder one of the two not Pathfinder, because that's connected to D&D, even though it's not. It's, ah, it's Piazzo, though. Yeah, I know. The other ones are going to gonna get soon. Anyway, whatever. I just okay, cool. I've got, yeah. Uh, I think so. we're doing something tomorrow, by the way. I think we're doing Call of Duty tomorrow. And next week, we'll be doing Blade Runner for realsies. Ah, uh, on Tuesday. Amazing. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, 
yeah, guys, thanks very much for coming for this. Uh, well, a bit of an experiment there for purposes of other games, future games, and not only that, just to see if I could make Lee squirm. <laughs> well, if you want to make me so, you should have just made a really romantic episode. Like, oh, <laughs> I'd immediately be like, no, I'm not doing that. Oh, well, it um, depends on what path you went down. This is the thing. Corrupting Ralph was not on the cards for me. He is good and pure and kind. He's a big, lovable turtle. He's Master Ugwe. He is a big, lovable he, oh, he, wait, oh, he's not Master Ugwe. Anyway, I was actually he's watching not that Master the night. I was actually watching that the other <laughs> night there with the kids because they love Kung Fu Panda now. However, uh, anyway. uh, yeah, thanks very much for coming in to this uh, World of Florium episode 13. The unlucky one. Mm-hmm. The only unlucky one here was Lee. However, thanks again for watching us uh, as well. Happy 2023. We'll right. see you next week where we'll have, hopefully have a full contingent. If not, we'll figure something out. Uh, I'm pretty sure we won't have a full contingent, but we will figure something out. Hey. Okay, homies. So, yeah. Later. Later. Love yous very much. And we will see you soon. Bye.